Okay, this is part two of the uh, repair of the Samsung TV uh, with the faulty power supply. As you saw in the last video, I removed two diodes. These ones. This one. Uh, we'll find out shortly which one this is. Or not. This appears to be the good one. Because if I swap these terminal leads around now. We have a voltage drop of 0.23 volts across this one diode and this other diode which is the obviously going to be the faulty one you can see zero voltage drop basically you can swap the leads around still zero voltage drop so this was the one that's dead shorted so we have new diodes they didn't shot. They didn't stock the correct one in my local supplier. Not even anything that I was happy as a close enough equivalent. So I've ordered these online. Uh, uh, they were sourced from overseas, so I will be checking to make sure that they at least come close to the original values. 0.31 volts difference. 0.3 volt different across that one. What was it on this one? 0.23. Yeah, so a little bit higher on the voltage drop. Let's try another one. Point two eight. I want to ideally get some that are closely matched. Because these are in parallel, so if they're not, if the voltage drops are different, then one's going to have more of a load than the other. 0.29, so that's closer to that one. So you don't know when you buy stuff online from unknown suppliers. 0.3. Uh, whether you're getting something genuine or not it's always like trying 0.3 of course the more the voltage drop the higher power dissipated in the diode will be Point 0.3 looking like we're going to get 0.3 on this let's just uh oh swap them around 0 0.3 0 0.29 0 0.3 0 0.32 well, that was high so the last two i got were 0.3s so they are slightly higher voltage drop than the originals 0 0.307 0 0.308 these two would do probably less than perfect but they are Slightly different model numbers than the original, the MBR5150 instead of uh, SB5150, but they're obviously an equivalent. I'm going to look the data sheet up and see what that comes up as. Okay, so I've checked the data sheet and they are effectively equivalent. Um, what I didn't check was to see what the forward voltage should be on these. Forward voltage. Huh. 0.9. Um, that was what I measured at. Uh, I measured 0.3 at the very low current that this was going to be put on it. That's 0.9 of 5 amps. So. Still. 
well, won't really know exactly until we put them in but let's see how we go so the first thing I need to do is um, shape these leads roughly the same as the originals it's important to have the uh, leads long enough because the leads are used as a kind of basic heat sink so I'll just use my needle nose pliers to um, get a rough shape so do that so that's the rest of there bring that in and then bend it out again and then bend it back I haven't quite got that right but you get the idea just to sort of create that sort of lead effect like like they are on the original so I'll do that with the other two the other one and then we'll solder them in so here are the new dials soldered in place now soldering on the back if you're wondering why I didn't show the soldering it's because nobody needs to see me soldering it is not pretty if you need to learn how to solder find someone else look at Dave Jones's, Dave Jones's channel EV bolt. he's got a few tutorials and stuff in there and I'm going to clean up the flux residue just using a bit of isopropyl alcohol for doing that and there it's a bit of a tidy up job there you go get the gunk off uh, let's reassemble the TV. Now the assembly of the TV is going to be exactly the reverse of what we saw when I took it apart in the first part. So if you haven't seen that, uh, go and have a look. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we should have now have a working TV. We'll find out in a okay, so here's the moment of truth. Power on. We have lights. Yeah, something. Oh, HDMI 3, DVI. Let's try the uh, menus. So we have input select. Weak or no signal, that's fair enough. Let's try connecting an aerial to it. There you go, as you can see. It's working. We're our own worst enemy. Sorry about the shaky video. We had to find an alternative that makes our hearts beat a little bit harder. Then together we'll make great strides for the good of all. This is not about surrendering to conditions. I don't have the remote handy, so but as you can see, it's working, so that's fixed. Two dials, that's all it was. Thanks for watching.